Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News for Mountain Comfort Furnishings and Design. Silverthorne hears you loud and clear. We hit the breaking point. It's no longer acceptable. Town Manager Ryan Highland met today with town and county officials. They have their first real remedy for the Highway 9 blizzard gridlock. Metering into Silverthorne is something that's going to be a discussion with CDOT. CDOT does it already, the tunnels and I-70 on-ramps. And Highland realizes this can just push the problem down the road. My job as town manager and talking to the council members, our first and foremost job is to protect our community. And so we may have to shift impacts elsewhere, but we end up being I-70 for all intents and purposes when Glenwood closes, when mail closes sometimes. No timeline yet for when metering would start, but it could be sooner than other remedies. Major cell and internet companies know their service sucks south of Breck, and they're not willing to fix it. Yet. They all confirmed that they do not have adequate cell coverage in that area, and uh, frankly, it's just too expensive to build, and they can't get an adequate return. That was Diane Cruz with NeoConnect. It's a broadband consulting firm in Glenwood. They have shareholders that they need to answer to, and um, they need to build in areas where they can get an adequate return on their investment. NeoConnect has a contract with Blue River. Cruz is confident with the right pitch and the right people, Southern Summit can have reliable fiber and phone. When money is the challenge to solve a problem, you really don't have a problem. Later this year, Colorado is awarding $826 million in broadband grant funding. Blue River will apply. Mountain Town Lodges lost money in back-to-back -back months for the first time in two years. The latest numbers from Destimetric show November and December were down in 17 ski towns across seven states. But analysts are hopeful new snow always brings skiers, and they will pay for it. Average price for a room this March is the highest it's ever been, $726 a night. Starting tomorrow, you can enter the housing lottery for the Larkspur. That's the rental neighborhood formerly known as the Justice Center on Airport Road near the ballparks. Breck's Social Equity Commission is now making sure all paperwork is translated into Spanish. If English isn't your first language, making sure that all of the things that you need to purchase a house are in order because it seems like those lotteries just go so fast. Enter that lottery online through Town of Breck. Lottery closes February 2nd. Lottery drawing is February 20th. Keystone's very first town council election is January 30th. Running for six council seats are nine candidates. Aaron Parmet, nurse manager with St. Anthony's. Gretchen Davis, president of the Pines HOA. Valerie Thisted, member of the Keystone Charter Committee. Barbara Munyon, a longtime accountant for Snake River Water District. John Hagenow, a hospitality pro living in employee housing. Carol Kerr, a retired U.S. Army officer. Dan Sullivan, a retired financial management partner. Sarah Keel, owner of Keystone Mountain Coffee. And Nick Bajugan, a town of Silverthorne employee. Ballots are in the mail. This election is by mail only. In sports, the Avalanche play the Bruins today at 5. And in local sports, today on the warm-up for my furnish in Frisco and Kremlin. I'm a shooter. If it's round, I can shoot it. That was Deceba, a.k.a. Deuce, on the Lady Tigers basketball team. Deuce brings the shot. Another senior, Ellie, brings game management. I'm always talking to my teammates, like whether it's on defense or offense, being able to calm the team down, like slow down the play or also push if we need to go fast. This season, those two are co-captains, and they're naturals. I feel like as captains on our team our main job is just to like be hype because coach is there to give like criticism but we're there to like bring the team back up hype up our teammates and encourage them to work even harder the lady tigers are back in action tomorrow from moffitt county at home this is the warm-up with local athletes in other preps summit high alpine ski team was racing slalom out at copper today phil lindeman crystal 93 news